The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. Okay, so this is the first time that you guys have seen me not sitting behind my desk. I am finally sitting in my new wheelchair that I've had for three years and we're still having to make some more modifications to it, but we are slowly getting there. So what I did was I took my wheelchair to physical therapy with me over the past probably three or four weeks. And I've had a lot of trouble sitting in this chair due to the hip damage that I've had over the course of the years. So we found out that the problem was my tailbone and you've probably seen my other videos where I've talked about that. Well, when I went to physical therapy on Tuesday of last week, um, I found out something really interesting. I found another position that I can sit in that gives me more stability and it takes the pressure off my tailbone. So I want to show you the new chair. It's, uh, it's basically the, probably the same kind of chair you guys have if you've been sitting in a new wheelchair over the past probably five or six years. This is a permobile and it's got all the functions on it. And my uh, caregiver, Diane, is running the camera for me. So in a minute, I'll have her come up closer so you can see the actual functions. But it does pretty much everything that a new wheelchair will do, okay? I can, I can sit up further. I can lean back just with the backrest. Or if I hit another switch, I can lay back. So this is what I was doing at physical therapy to get the pressure off my tailbone. Well, on Tuesday, what I found out was that if I lay back like this, it takes the pressure off my tailbone. But if I raise the backrest up a little bit more, where I'm sitting a little bit more uh, erect or more you know, straight up, that also takes the pressure off my tailbone. So if I come back into a more neutral position, I'm sitting up more and I can sit like this all day long without being in any discomfort at all. Now, I am experiencing a little bit of calf pain in my right leg, which is what used to happen, but uh, it's starting to come back. But I think my physical therapist, Emily, uh, she's on vacation this upcoming week, but the other physical therapist, her name is Emily as well. She's gonna be working on that calf. We're gonna cup the calf to bring the blood flow up and we may even dry needle with a little bit of electrical massage. So hopefully that's gonna rectify itself over the next couple of weeks. So sitting in this chair has really been great. Another function that I really love about this chair is if I sit more neutral, and it takes me a second, but if I sit more neutral, how many of you, been, how many of you have been to a sporting event where you can't see over people? Well, this chair, will raise up. And this is a function that I really love because I can get eyeball level with other people and I can raise up a full foot, which, you know, you start thinking about it, a foot may not be that much, but it really is, especially if you go to a restaurant and you don't have the ability to sit at a high table or sit at a bar. So this is really coming in to be very handy for me. So I'm gonna lower back down. Another function that I really love about this chair is the ability to raise my feet up. So if I'm laying back like I am now, what I can also do is just raise the feet rest up and I'll do that right now. And again, most of this is not any new shocking news to most of you, but to me it is. Being able to get my feet up just a little bit higher will take the pressure off my ankle, which also helps tremendously. So if you've purchased one of these chairs over the past four or five years, you know that you have some switches that are located directly behind the controller. And that's how you work the functions of the chair. Well, those switches were very difficult for me to use. So Diane, if you'll come over here and show them these pressure sensitive switches that I've got. These are just very light, sensitive touch switches. And there's four of them. There's a red one, which will lay the backrest down. There's an orange one, which will recline both you know, the feet, the buttocks and the back. 
There's the green one. I think it's green, yeah. The green one will raise my chair up or down, like I can get taller and maybe be at Diane's eye level. And then the yellow one works the feet. So if I hit the red button and hold it down, it'll lay back. Then if I let go of the switch and then hit the red switch again, it'll bring the backrest back up. So this chair has definitely been more comfortable for me to sit in. It took me a while. I ran my caregivers ragged, getting them to come in and reposition me all the time, but it's been a lot better. My caregiver's grandson, Landon, lives with us, and I really felt sorry for him because he was running back and forth every three minutes. So, Landon, if you're watching this video, buddy, I love you. And Diane, love you too. So, anyway, just wanted to show this new chair off a little bit. Uh, I think I'm getting used to it. My tailbone is more comfortable. I was scheduled to go in and get a steroid injection this coming Wednesday. But if I'm really comfortable today, which I should be, I'm going to call the doctor and cancel that procedure because I get enough needles in my back and I don't need another one. So hopefully this is going to work out for me. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this episode of the Maryland Monologue, please give me a thumbs up. Also, when you give us a thumbs up on our video, this tells YouTube that our videos are being more helpful. And the more helpful our videos are, YouTube will share these videos with a wider audience. So please give me a thumbs up and uh, help us by supporting us, okay? By giving us the thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions, make sure that you put the question in the description or in the box under the video. And any questions that I get, I'll, be make, I'll make sure that I answer them all, okay? Hey, we at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a great day. Do me a favor, this upcoming week, do something for yourself. It's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.